Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and I hope all of you are doing fine. My apology is because after many days I am posting YouTube videos. It has been two weeks I could not post any YouTube videos because I had been to North India trip. I had been to North India where I visited more than five states covering more than 4000 kilometers and already I have made a video on that about my destination trading video to North India. You can check it in my video section. And same time I'd like to thank my followers because many followers have contacted me while I was on road trip. When I was in Jaipur, Udaipur and also when I was in Agra, many of my followers contacted me and invited me to their home for the lunch and dinner. I'm really thankful for your gesture and I'm really thankful for the love and respect you are showing. But due to my tax schedule, I could not meet anyone. But next time when I come that side, I'll try to meet all of you. Thank you for your invite. And now coming back to today's video topic. Today I am going to discuss three powerful entry technique in scalping. When you come to scalping, you have to be very precise with the entry. Because in scalping, your stop loss is always smaller. So that is the reason you have to be very precise with entry. That, that means in scalping, you have to know exactly which candle you have to enter and that can give you better win rate. So in this video, I am going to discuss which are those three entry techniques. Based on that, you can do the scalping. And I myself use that technique when I do the scalping many times and same thing also I discuss with my scalping students during the doubt clearing session after buying the scalping course. So today in this video I am going to discuss three entry technique and the first technique is known as gap and go entry. Second type of entry I am going to discuss is reversal entry and third type of entry I am going to discuss about power candle entry. These are the three entry techniques you are going to learn today and most importantly all these three entry techniques are based on pure price action. I am not going to discuss buy above RSI, sell above RSI, buy above MACD, sell above MACD and all this. I am not going to discuss anything based on indicator because when you buy and sell based on indicator, there is no logic. But when you enter based on price action, then there is a logic. Price action is a logic because it is about buyers and sellers. So before I can take you to the chart and show you the example, let me just brief you about what is gap and go entry. So gap is nothing but the closing of the previous candle close and next candle open. If this is the previous candle and next candle opens here, next candle is here, the, the close of this candle and the open of this candle, that is the gap. Gap is only when there is a price difference between the previous candle close and the next candle open. As you can see in this image where I have clearly mentioned what actually gap. Gap can happen on any time frame. It can happen on one minute. It can happen on five minutes. It can happen on daily time frame. Gaps are very common on daily time frame candles. Why it is very common on daily time frame candles? Because market closes at 3.30 and next day morning only opens at 9.15. So between 3.30 to 9.15, there can be many news locally as well as globally. So that is what gap happens. Gap happens because of the news, because of the panic buying or because of the panic selling. That is why gap happens. But on smaller time frame, gaps are very less. But whenever it happens, it can be very powerful. And now let me take you to the chart and let me show you with example. And also I'll explain the logic as well as psychology behind gaps in candle okay guys before i start with the chart let me show you on the whiteboard what exactly i mean by gap and go entry gap and go entry mean assume that these are the bullish candle these are the bullish candle in a strong uptrend and after that there will be a retracement you know what is retracement right retracement or pullback whatever you call it as so this is a retracement so what you can see that it's in the strong uptrend with a series of bullish candle then bearish candle so that means it's a small pullback. Then next candle, next candle, if you see like this, that is the gap. Why that? That is a gap. Gap is, I said, between the previous candle close and next candle open. So there is a gap, this much gap, right? So that is what the entry candle. Look at all this candle. Is there any other candle have a gap? This candle close here, next candle open here. There is no gap. This candle close, this candle open almost same day, same place. This candle close, this candle open within that close. This candle close, this candle open almost same. This candle close, this candle open same. This candle close, this candle open same. Most of the time you will see in smaller time frame like one minute candle, you will see that previous candle close and current candle close is almost same. Okay. And if you see by mistake that there is a candle which, which makes a gap up. It makes a gap 
from the previous candle close and next candle open that is your end okay that is your entry to go long why because there is a panic buy whenever ca previous candle close and next candle opens at the same place then there is no panic buy so you have to see imbalance between the buyers and sellers you have to see a imbalance between the buyers and sellers imbalance between the supply and demand that means what is imbalance imbalance mean suddenly there is a gap up in next candle wood. same applies if there is a big crash and after that there is a small pullback and next candle opens below the previous candle close that is a panic sell that is the panic selling because this candle close here this candle open here. and one more thing this gap and go high probability when trend is strong uptrend or downtrend then it is strong not at the end of the trend i prefer at the middle or beginning of the trend when i see this kind of imbalance between the candles also you should know that imbalance doesn't mean that every time it has to be next candle has to be open has to be below the previous candle close sometimes you will see that next candle here so this is also gap and go why this is a gap and go previous candle close was here next candle open here that is also your end same applies in the bullish trend also now let's go to the chart this is the 22nd may nifty one minute time frame i'll replay the candlestick okay i'll replay the candlestick on one minute time frame and whenever there is a gap and go i will pause and i'll explain let me start with the replay candles okay can you see can you see this candle this candle have a gap and go why this candle have a gap and go look at all other candles look at all other candles candle close candle open candle close candle open almost same place right this candle you can see that this candle previous candle close was here this candle open here so this is a imbalance so that means there is a chances of upside from here that is the only candle you will see 941 candle which made a which made a gap and go now let us play the candlestick okay can you see another gap and go yes one gap and go was here this candle next gap and go is this candle this green candle what is that candle candle is 10 12 right that is the candle which made a imbalance between the buyers and sellers because this candle close was here this candle open other candles you can see that from here it's almost at the same time but here there is a imbalance anything else you can see another another imbalance 1045 candle you can see there is a imbalance right though there is not a big imbalance but still it's a imbalance trend is strong on the upside so that makes the entry because previous candle close was here next candle open was here but remember whenever there is a big gap that means for example this is a big gap right because close was here open here but here not a gap is big but still to show you that what is the gap and go i'm showing you otherwise the bigger the gap higher the probability of getting a good entry okay so you can see any gaps again this candle again made a gap right because previous red candle close was here next candle is here so that is the gap up here here also you can see that small gap up this candle 1045 candle then again this candle also made a gap up so that is just to that is just few examples i'm not saying that every time it can work and give you good profit but whenever trend is very strong such time entering such candles can give you one of the best entry whenever there is a imbalance sometimes you can see that sometime it can happen something like this there is a bearish candle in a strong uptrend and suddenly next bullish candle opened gap up right this is a imbalance and gap and go why because this candle close here this candle open here this is the gap but sometimes you will see that even candle opened here it comes back fill that gap it comes back 
fill that gap, making the wakes, and then again start going. So that's why whenever I take an entry here, sometimes it comes down then, but I'll not get panic that it's going to hit my stop loss. But I will know that this is most likely coming and filling the gap here, and again it goes up. Sometimes it may happen that this candle will not fill the gap. After that, it starts going up, starts going up. Then after that, it can make a bearish candle, bearish candle, and it can come and fill the gap here. And again, it can start going. That means this candle only came to fill the gap because there was a gap here, right? Because they say that markets don't like gap. Gaps most of the time get filled. So you know what I do? Sometimes if I miss the entry here and if I see a gap, I'll wait for a retest of the gap. And if I see a bullish candle here, I will take it because it filled the gap. Now it is chances of going up is high. So that's about this entry called gap and go end. Okay, you have seen the first example that is the gap and go. And I said it happens because of the panic buying or panic selling. What is the panic buying? If I to give you an example, assume that there are many buyers looking for one property in one of the prime location. Okay, there is a huge demand, but there is no vacant property currently. But suddenly after a few days, there is a news that there is a property and then what happens? There will be panic buying because in that location, you hardly get any properties for the sale and suddenly there is a property for sale and there are hundreds of buyers are waiting for one property and suddenly there will be panic buying. When panic buying, what happens? Prices will go up, right? Property prices will go up because demand is more. So that is what the same thing happens in the chart also. When there is a panic buying, the gap happens. That means there will be jump on the price. From the previous candle close, next candle open. If there is a gap, that means it's a panic buying. Same thing in panic selling also happens. If I to give you an example, suppose you are in an auditorium. There are hundreds of people in an auditorium and suddenly there is some danger. Suddenly some danger and everyone has to exit immediately from the auditorium and there is only one exit door. What happens? All hundreds of people will run towards that exit door to exit from the auditorium, right? Because there is a panic and there is only one exit door. Same thing happens in panic selling also in market. Whenever there is a panic about selling, you will see this kind of gap and go. That means there will be a difference between the previous candle close and next candle open. So whenever you see this kind of gaps, that is the signal of panic selling. That means from that place, very high chances of market going down or if there is a panic buying, there is a chances of market going up from that level. Okay, now we are going to discuss about the second entry technique that is the reversal entry. Everyone knows the support and resistance, right? Because price action based on support and resistance, supply and demand, right? This is the support, this is the resistance. When you read any textbooks or when you watch any YouTube videos, everyone will say that when it comes near the support, look for a pin bar and go long. And when price comes to the resistance, look for a bearish pin bar and go short, right? That has been taught in every textbooks and every videos. And big players knows that truth that many novice traders, many retailers takes the entry based on support and resistance based on pin bar. So what they do, you know, they go below the support take the stop loss and then they go. So my advice to you, then avoid taking the trade exact near the support and resistance, but wait for a reversal entry and that can give you a high win rate in scalping. Okay, before I start the example with the charts, let me just brief you on the whiteboard about the support, about the reversal entry. Everyone knows the support and resistance, right? If you know that this is the resistance, this is the support. And when price comes here, you know that chances of reversal higher. When price comes here, chances of reversal higher right because they are the support and risk and big players they know this retail traders they go short near the resistance they go long near the support and they know that retail traders have been taught with the candlestick that when there is a pin bar near the support and resistance high probability when there is a bullish pin bar near the support when there is a bearish pin bar near the resistance but if you ask me with my experience i've seen that Pin bar doesn't work so well. No doubt it's powerful, but I'm going to show you something where which is much more powerful than the pin bar near the support and resistance. What I'm going to do, I will not take the trade long if I see a pin bar near the support or resistance. I will not go long or short near the pin bar. Why you know? Because big players knows that retail traders goes long here by keeping stop loss below the pin bar or they go short here by keeping stop loss above the pin bar. Big players 
they know it very well you know what they do they go up take their stop loss and then they push that mean it reverses from the resistance but only after hitting your stop loss or what they do they come down take your stop loss and then they go up. that is what happens very frequently right your analysis was right it started going up from the support but after taking your stop loss so that is why what i do it i don't take trades near the support and resistance if i see a pin bar if i see a pin bar i'll not take the trade instead of that i will wait for the reversal that mean i wait for price to go below this support or go above this resistance that mean once price goes below it i'll wait and see whether reversal happens if reversal happens then i'll take a long entry and if i want to short i will not take short because there is a bearish pin bar i'll wait for price to go above it and then reverse then i'll show so that is the reversal entry in scalping that can happen most of the time remember nothing works all the time in trading or scalping everything is a probability but this is what i've seen working most of the time rather than taking short or long near the pin bar reversal entry works better in scalping let me show you with the chart okay this is the 23rd may and you can see some resistance where all you can see the resistance on this chart one resistance you can see here on this candle right let us mark that candle with the black horizontal line you know when price comes here retail traders they go short right when they see bearish candle then they go short but what i do you know i don't go short i don't prefer going short here rather i look for this kind of price that mean you can see here it started going up taking all the stop losses people who have kept here then it started coming down then it come down right so that is what i mean to say that taking short here because there is a pin bar there is a doji bearish candle i don't like that i wait for price to go and then reverse so this is called reversal entry in scalp this is the reversal entry in scalp so now this becomes your resistance right let us see what happened next time when price came this is the candle you can see that that horizontal line this was the resistance earlier resistance it came near that and broken it right it broken it and then reverse now i will enter i will not enter anywhere like this candle because there is a bearish pin bar there are small doji and all this i prefer this kind of thing. so that is what i mean to say that wait for the reversal and then go short and you can see that after that it started going this entry logic behind or psychology behind entry is that once it comes to the resistance then retailers are waiting to short when they see the bearish candle but big players what they do it they know that stop loss is above the resistance then they will go above it and hit the stop loss and then they reverse it but i am not saying that it can't work near taking trade near the support and resistance when you have to take the trade that is also i am going to discuss in my next entry and the next and the third entry is power candle entry this entry i take exactly near the support and resistance you must be thinking that earlier i said avoid taking the trade near the support and resistance but i am saying that now take the trade near the support and resistance so yes if you want to take the trade near the support and resistance then don't look for a pin bar look for a power candle what is that power candle that is what i am going to discuss in this chart okay now comes the third and last type of entry that is the power candle entry what is the power candle first of all i am sure most of you don't know what is the power candle power candle in scalping mean candles which don't have any wicks this is the power candle yes it is also known as maribozu candle but in scalping we call it as a power candle power candle mean candles which have no wicks at all no wicks at all only body 100% body but the thing is that finding a power candle which doesn't have any wicks on the candle which is very difficult to find so that's why small wicks is fine small wicks on the upside is fine small wicks is fine but it should not be very big wicks like this small wicks is fine but not on the both side it should not have on the both side if it is small wicks then fine if it doesn't have any wicks then it is very powerful that is what the power candle now why this kind of power candles are important in scalping now i take the same example like earlier example 
support and resistor so i was telling you that i don't prefer taking short near the resistance or long near the support if there is a pin bar but sometimes i take the trade near the support or near the resistance only if i see a power candle if i see a power candle near the resistance then i don't wait for reversal entry i immediately enter on that candle or if i see a power candle near the support then i take the entry then i don't wait for the reversal entry. i go and take the entry here i'll take a short entry here i'll take a long entry. but pin bar i don't why because power candle is nothing but candles which is full of sellers or candle which are full of buyers if it is a full body candle so that means it shows the strength of buyers and sellers strength of strong buyers that means chances of going up from here very high chances of going down from here very high so that is why my advice is when you want to take the trade wait for a power candle rather than looking for a pin bar candle now let's go to the chart let me mark one of the important resistance you can see that this candle high is the strong resistance from there market started falling then next resistance was here because from here again market started falling right so most of the people they go short near the resistance when they see a doji or a pin bar but i don't prefer i prefer candle like this this is the power candle why this is a power candle look at the candle body is there any wicks zero wicks right that is the powerful candle but you know what i would not have taken the trade even though it's a power candle because risk reward is not good right huge risk because if you enter here the stop loss will be here so the risk reward and all i'm not going to discuss here that is discussed in my scalping course or day trading course this is just to show you that what are the power candle when you can go short near the support or resistance for example this i'll go okay this immediately i'll go short because it's a power candle why it's a power candle because it doesn't have wick, wicks on the downside right small wicks on the upside but it's not a pin bar it's a power candle so that is what here also you can see that i will not short here i will not short this pin bar i will not short this doji i will short only this candle this candle size is big but to give you example this is called a power candle this is also power candle but don't go for the second power candle go for the first power candle ensure that candle size is not too big like this kind of candle is can give you good risk reward trade so that is what i wanted to discuss that power candles are most important near the support and resistance rather than going for a bullish pin bar or bearish pin bar look for power candle which can give you better win rate in scalp so that's about three scalping entries which i personally use it which also i discuss with my scalping students and which has a better win rate compared to traditional entry so that's about today's video on three powerful entry technique in scalping and in my new scalping course which i launched recently that is one minute scalping strategy in nifty bank nifty i discuss 15 various strategy mainly based on price action so most of the strategies mainly based on price action and like how i discussed in today's video about the logic behind taking the trade price action everything discussed in very details if you are interested to learn more about scalping then you can go below this video in the description section and check my new scalping course and if you are interested you can purchase the scalping course but remember scalping is not for everybody for doing scalping you need to have some experience as a day trader and scalping is much riskier than day trading because you have to take the decision very fast on one minute time frame so that's why read the faq section if you think it is suitable for you then only you can buy the scalping course and if you think that scalping is not for you then i have a course called 25 day trading strategy in nifty bank nifty which is again based on nifty bank nifty here i discuss strategy based on five minutes time frame i discuss here 25 various strategies and again mainly based on price action if you are interested go below this video and see when is my next day trading webinar if you are interested you can contact me on whatsapp or email so that's it guys i'll see you soon with a new video until then bye and take care